It is the next day now and I stayed up late making all those pizzas. I ended up making four of them. I didn't want to put the dough away because I just didn't I just didn't want to deal with like letting it sit out again on the counter. I just wanted to get it over with and bake it. And I'm happy I did because today we had like two full pizzas. One of them I haven't um, reheated, but the other one I reheated the barbecue on. It is so good. It's so easy to make. I highly recommend if you want to make some pizzas. It's a fun family thing to do. Just set up a bunch of toppings and then everyone can build their pizza. Barbecue chicken is like delicious though. Like you guys gotta try it. It's really, really easy to make. I'll leave the link to the dough recipe below. That recipe um, yields two pizza doughs, so it's really good. I'm just having a little bite to eat before I continue. I just put the baby to sleep. It is the afternoon now. It's Sunday today and we've had a really chill day so far. Usually like I feel like I'm always trying to get so much done, but I'm trying to like make Sundays more of a chill rest day and like be more like mindful about resting on Sundays. We were like hanging out um, in the big room, the guest room, which is also the school room and the baby's in nursery area, but it's such a huge room that like we kind of just dedicated to one thing. But yeah, we were all hanging out in there for a long time, playing with the baby and the girls were like drawing and playing with slime. We had a good, really nice morning. And now, like I said, it's the afternoon, Julian left to the gym. And I'm going to just do a little bit of Valentine's decorating. I didn't really plan to do it, but then I'm like, wait a minute, I have these, all these decorations. Like some of them I've never actually used because they arrived too late um, two years ago. And then last Valentine's Day, we were um, shipping from Italy to here, our new home. So I couldn't use them for last Valentine's Day either. So this is the first Valentine's Day I'll use some of those decorations. So I'm gonna try to see if I can like add some decorate decor. I'm going to try not to do too much. Like I don't want it to be like too crazy. I, I'm more into like keeping these minimal and obviously decorations are not like minimal. But I, like I said, I've never used them. So I'm just gonna like see if I can like try to incorporate them into like our home without it being too like much in the way or anything like that. just this pink little fuzzy garland thing which i don't know i'm not really feeling it so much if i had like some like beige hearts i think it would look so much nicer but maybe i can make something i don't know i'll see that's pretty much it i still have to make my candles i haven't made them yet here i just added this 
piece. I actually didn't put any batteries. It's supposed to light up. It says love. And then there's a little sign that says Mr. and Mrs. I might move that, but just I'm just adding a little touch of like a Valentine's Day feel. Here's the tear tray um, with the Valentine's Day things. I just added this faux eucalyptus. Just to add a little bit of natural nature in there. I have my mug that says military wife. Another pink mug. This candle holder, which I have like this candle that doesn't seem to really fit in there. Some peanut M&Ms. And then this whole set I talked about. So it's not much, but I think it's like a cute little feel. And this is like a corner that we don't really like... Um, it's not really going to be in our way because it's not on the side of the kitchen that we don't really use. I usually put my things to dry here, but what I've been doing lately and I'm really liking it is I have been... The bamboo drying rack that I had, it started getting moldy, so I tossed it. And meanwhile, I was just laying out a mat and letting things dry, but I'm hand drying everything um, that doesn't go in the dishwasher. So, and I put it away. So I love it because it keeps my space clear and it's just working out really well and it's not that hard i have my microfiber cloths and i just literally hand dry really quickly it doesn't take me long every single like pot and things that does not go in the dishwasher so i'm really loving that so yeah this space is not going to be really be like this isn't going to be in the way of anything and we still have space on the side anyway and that's pretty much it just this little sign right here it says be mine by the coffee corner so i'm actually waiting on my husband doing the pickup order from sprouts for me but it's kind of late now and he because he ran into something else that he had to do. So um, dinner is gonna be late and I'm not even sure what to cook because I was planning to make a soup, but that's gonna take me a while and I don't wanna do something that's gonna take me too long because it's getting late, like I said. But I did wanna bake some cupcakes, so I might do that meanwhile until he gets here since there's nothing really I can do to get started since like literally all the groceries that I need are like on the way. Um, so I'm gonna make some chocolate, some chocolate cupcakes with like a strawberry puree frosting and just to make it a little bit healthier I don't have to use like food coloring so I'm gonna do that right now I found it tonight like it's called absolute corda we were pretty sure about what so we have the Okay, so I made this yummy frosting out of butter, powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and I made a strawberry puree. So this is colored from strawberries and it tastes so good and I love that it's natural coloring. We don't have to add any food coloring. There are some chunks in it because the blender stopped blending it. I guess it got to like too thick, but I mean, I think it's still cute. It still adds like a nice little touch to have some strawberry chunks in there. So I'm gonna frost the cupcakes now.
It is the next day and I just want to say that those cupcakes are so good and they're super easy to make so I will show you the recipe below. I'm probably going to create like a short form video like maybe like a TikTok or something to um, of it so if you guys want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram I also post it onto my reels um, of how to do it. It's super easy like I said and it's like a yummy little tree that you can make you know for valentine's day if you care for the holiday and even if you don't like you know it's just a cool treat to make so i just want to talk a little bit about like this year it is january um you know everyone seems to get very excited in january myself included and we feel motivated and all and i surely do feel that way every single january I do but i honestly also feel very motivated like every single monday as well today's actually monday just because it's the start of a new week and I'm, i try to accomplish something new i just get excited for routine i really like routine one thing that I've, i'm actually testing out right now is a cleaning routine i don't know why i've never actually scheduled a cleaning routine i have scheduled like a few weekly things that i have like a specific day to do i do one load of laundry every single day but for the most part like everything else i don't really schedule it i just like do it when i can which i will share once i um figure out what days work best for each room and each task and then i'm gonna share that with you but i highly recommend that if you are feeling overwhelmed try to try to think of a of a way that you can like create a routine to that you know that on this specific day you're only going to focus on this and then you get that done and then it's just so much easier that way when you know what to expect and what and you're planning for it already you know how people think of a word for the year i'm not sure of my word yet i think i wrote a few down but i don't know if i i don't think i decided on one yet i'm also trying to think of words for like the month and i feel like from january routine is a good word to go by because it's like a good time of the year to set a routine and start routines and um just get it comfortable with the routine so that we can have like a more organized and less stressful year ahead of us just some tips that i am sharing because i think that they have been helping me yeah i'm just like super duper like honestly like i really love what i do i'm a homemaker and i have been doing this since i got pregnant with my first child it's been about like 10 years already that i've been a homemaker and i honestly love it a lot and i'm so grateful and i've only gotten better because I think with the way that we're raised in these newer generations, like we're like my mom was a working mom, so she, my grandma raised me also. Like um, we've always lived close to her, and I spent a lot of my years, and I've even we've lived with my grandma when I was younger. So I feel like she's taught me a lot about like being a homemaker just by like watching her but also like she would include me in like and in making recipes and things and cleaning but i feel like i didn't really wasn't really taught like how nobody really actually told me how important or how joyful being a homemaker can actually be i obviously see how joyful it is for my grandma because like she has people over she loves having the family over she loves having the kids running around she loves um making food for everyone so i see how she finds so much joy in that even though like all her kids are like grown and she has a bunch of grandchildren but i still see the joy that it brings her even now but i don't think i really put it together when i was younger and i think becoming a homemaker in today's age when nobody's like literally teaching you or talking to you about like the beauty of it especially because you see so much of like the other side which is like what other what people what a lot of women choose to do now which is like have careers go to school and own businesses which i think there's nothing wrong with that i'm just so happy that this is the path that i chose it honestly came so natural to me like i've always wanted to be a mom my my original plan was to go to college and be a nurse but now i see how like i would never be happy doing that because i just try to do things more holistically and naturally and like working in a hospital kind of goes against like everything i believe in either way as soon as i found that i was pregnant like i quit my job which was just like at a bakery wasn't like a career or anything like that that i had i realized that right then like i have to be home with my baby like and then yeah i don't know it just it obviously like i said came naturally like i felt like i wanted to be with my child i didn't want to give my child to somebody else to watch all day like i wanted to be there for my child and it's just like i said came so natural and i just love like making my family happy and 
and feeding them literally food is what keeps you alive and you know my job is to nourish my family and keep them healthy and alive and it's a really big job so if you're a homemaker like just know that like your job is very important important it's very probably one of the most important jobs as a mother and a homemaker and just like serving my husband serving my children like it's just been like i said i've realized now how important it really is and how big of a job it really is because i felt like back then i was kind of being getting influenced by the media and by society um about like what women should do and um it's almost like nowadays women are like almost shamed for being homemakers or stay-at-home moms so i'm just so glad that i overcame all that and i've never actually wanted to go back to school or anything like that at all but it was still kind of like like i felt like comfortable with what i what i'm doing but i also didn't like wasn't loud about it because like people don't get it this is my like platform and my life and my perspective so i'm obviously here to share it and i know that a lot of you will find find a connection with all that just would like to build a community of like like-minded women even if you're not a homemaker or a stay-at-home mom i feel like there's still a lot that i can help you figure out like i said like cleaning routines but yeah i'm just overall like so excited for the year and i really want to give you a lot of value on my channel and, and through my content so i just wanted to thank you for following along so far and i'm hoping to grow this channel more this year since i feel like i know what i want to share now more and it's like i said something that comes natural to me so i'm just really excited about that click the thumbs up if you liked this video and let me know anything you want to see below so i can create content that you will find helpful or will enjoy to watch because i really do want to know what you want to watch and what you like to watch from me i'm trying to post weekly at least once a week Bi-weekly is my goal, but I don't always get to post twice, so at least once a week. So I'll see you again next week, and thank you for watching. By the way, Mondays seems to be like the my posting schedule lately, every Monday, so look out for next Monday as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye!